Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So on my last video, I did say I was going to do a project share of the recent things I've been working on. So that's what I'm on here today to do. So I'm super excited. I haven't done a project share video in such a long time. So I'm going to get right into it. So for this first project, this is supposed to be a magical themed mail. So I decorated this bag. And it's a bag I got from Michael's. So here is the front. I'm using the Echo Park die. I think it's from Echo Park. Let me check real quick. Yes, Echo Park unicorn die set. So I just put that on top of a doily. This is, oh, the paper pad that I'm using is, I think it's called Stay Magical, but I got it at Michael's. It's one of the Hot Buy papers. So I, I use some trim. I made this little banner and I decorated this with some gem in the back so it won't be so plain. I used one of the cut aparts and I thought that turned out pretty cute. Sorry if you can hear my fan, it's really hot today. Okay, so the first thing I pulled out here is this little rosette and I'm using a dye that I recently picked up from Hobby Lobby. And it is, I think it's Lori Whitlock. I'm not sure, but yes. So it's this one. No, just kidding. It's Caitlin, and it's a Sizzix dye. But yeah, you can get this at Hobby Lobby and use your 40% off coupon. That's what I used. I do have this adorable little clip. This is from Doodlebug, I think. I'll show you the flip book last. So I made this card that's gonna hold my letter and it's a cut apart from the collection. I also made this little heart embellishment and I used some foam on the back um, that you can peel off. That's why they're kind of all over the place. I try to hold it with some hot glue but it won't hold. But yeah, I thought these were cute. I also made a little sequence mix, I believe. I don't know where I put it, but I am gonna personalize this a little more once I know who I'm gonna give it out to. So here is the cover of my tag flipbook. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, I did show a little sneak peek, which I will link down below in case you wanna follow me. I post there more frequently than I do on YouTube. So if you want to keep up with some of my crafts, um, I do encourage you guys to follow me. So yeah, again, this is the cover. I think it turned out super cute. So most of the things that I'm using are from the paper pad and I just fussy cut everything. But yeah, if you have any questions on the products that I'm using, please leave them down below so I can get back to you. Okay, so for this first page, that's how that turned out. And I included some unicorn dyes. Here I used a cut apart that I fussy cut it out and used as a little pocket. I added some flowers from Hobby Lobby and that says you are magical and I included some tags. Here's a little sneak peek of one that I made. That goes in there. I made these cute bows. This fell out of this pocket, but there's this cute little wand. And I die cutted some images out using some dies that I thought would go well with this whole theme. So here is a close up of that. I 
mermaid. I cut it out some mermaids. And this is a bunch of diamonds and stars. I made some rosettes. I made some tickets using the Tim Holtz die set and stamp set that I recently picked up at Crafts Warehouse. In this pocket, I made a little tab to hold these gems. I thought these were really pretty. So that was the last pocket. And in the back, it just says made with love. So yeah, that's my first little project. So I am looking for new pen pals. So please let me know if you would like to swap in a message um, on Instagram where you can message me. For my next project, I made some mail using the Flourish Collection by Maggie Holmes. So I decorated this cute bag. It says snail mail for you. Okay, so here is my card that I made for my pen pal. Kept it fairly simple. I made some embellishments just like I did in my last project that you saw. But these are gold. I included some journaling cards. I made my own little flower embellishment kit. So you get some flowers in there and then there's also some leaves. And in here, I'm not, I don't really remember what I put in here. Oh, okay. It was some handmade tickets using the Tim Holtz die and stamp set, just like in my other project as well. So that's how these turned out. So here is the main piece of mail. And I did make a video on the process on how I decorated this, so I will link that down below. So in here, I included more die cuts. I made these tags and I'm just holding it on with this little adorable mini clip. Here is more of these flowers using a different flower die but the same leaves. I thought having a variety would be fun. These right here are all um, papers from the collection that I die cut it out. So here are some little houses, some tags, and these cute little cameras. That's everything in there. I also made this cute little treat box. And a, this is a die that I recently picked up at Hobby Lobby as well. It's a cute little um, box like you see here. And it is by, okay, so this one right here. But yeah, look how cute this turned out. I love it. So in here, I have more goodies. I made these two really pretty rosettes. I made these bows. I thought these are so cute and so tiny. I also made these cute little Polaroid frames. And then lastly, I included this little sequence mix. So that's everything that's in this little box. So I have more goodies. So in here, I made these cute little houses. And inside, I just included this 
um, crepe paper so it can hold the sheet together. But yeah, look how adorable these are. I think this is a die from... Okay, it's this die right here by Hero Arts. But yeah, I thought this would be cute to just put them, put them on your desk, like so. I'll leave that out. <laughs> I added these little straws in there as well. I made one of these cute little piñatas, mini piñata. And in here, it's just a bunch of random goodies like buttons, flowers, some wood veneers. But yeah, I love how this turned out. I think it's super cute and I think my pen pal is going to love this. I made a couple pocket letters. Here's this one right here. And I'm not quite finished with this one. I still needed to um, add some goodies. And so, this one I'm using the pink passport paper pad by My Paper Studio. And I did pick that up at Hobby Lobby. This is a Maggie Holmes die. So I made this little sleeve, it has a Velcro on it, so you can either slide it off or you know, use the little Velcro piece. And this one I did show on my Instagram as well. Let me go ahead and share with you how it looks. And I do apologize for the glare. I don't have the best lighting in my room, so I have to use um, some LED lights, little lamps I should say. And then here is a little sneak peek of the goodies on the back. But yeah, I think this one is so cute. I This one's probably one of my favorites. But yeah, like I mentioned before, if you have any questions on the products that I'm using, please leave a comment and I will get back to you. For this project, I'm using the Lovely Day Paper Pad by Dear Lizzie. And I got this at Tuesday morning for $6.99. So here is how it looks like all put together. So let's show you what's inside. So I made these cute, adorable embellishments. Look how cute they turned out. Okay, I'm using two different dies. I'm using this little envelope die, and this is from the Lawn Fawn Happy Meal die set. And I'm also using this Flora and Fauna die. This I recently picked up, and I'm just using this one right here, this, and this. And I made these cute little embellishments with those. Here's a flag that I got from Target. This is a bunch of little tags, or little cut apart pieces from the paper pad. I made this rosette. I included some of the journaling cards and tags. Here's another of those little flags. So in this paper pad, I see rose gold and silver. That's why I kind of incorporated both of those colors in here. Here is a little shaker sequence mix. And this is a resealable bag, so you can use the sequence mixes and the tag, or you can just keep it like that. Okay, here is more of those little houses like I showed you earlier. Um, these are just not put together. Some heart and bellies. I made this card. And here I included these little baby embellishments or little rosettes. And I thought they turned out super cute. And here I included some washi tape that I thought would go well with the collection. It does have rose gold. I made more of these little envelopes, but this is using a different die. Little baggy, and here's some confetti. And I also made these journaling cards using the collection. 
Okay, so here is my other little project. It is a pocket letter. I forget what paper pad this is. I know for a fact that it's by Chamel. I just don't know what the collection is called. So yeah, this one I also shared on Instagram. So here is the front pockets, the middle, and the last three. And here is a little sneak peek of the goodies on the back. So that is that one. The last piece of mail that I'm going to share with you is another tag flip book. Here's the little front cover. This has some tags. Um, journaling cards in here I included some tickets embellishments and a bunch of random die cuts in here what did I have in here oh I think I have I did misplace what I had in that pocket, but it had a bunch of extras. Yeah, that is how that one looks. Okay, so that is everything that I wanted to quickly share with you. I am going to be creating more mail, and yeah, let me know if you'd like to see some more project shares. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.